Oh, you're recording, okay. Hey everyone, it is Garcia's on Tucker. everyone, it is Garcia's on Wheels and we are here to give you a tour of our fifth wheel. So the fifth wheel that we live in is Open Range 371 MBH and the MBH stands for Mid Bunk House. Got it. Yes. I know things, I'm smart I swear. So we're going to start in the kitchen slash living room area because it's the biggest part of the fifth wheel. Okay so as you walk into the door the first thing you see is the big um, living room kitchen area. So this is a dining table. Very nice, bolted down, which means it's meant for travel because our other one was not meant for travel. We had an Ikea table, which is fabulous, but we had to get very creative to strap it down when we wanted to move. So this is meant for moving. Then you walk in and you see my favorite section of the whole house my little flower section and our little knickknack section. We pick up a lot of knickknacks and a lot of treasures from when we travel. We have our little rhino from our first um, first trip we took on our fifth wheel actually at Angel's Camp. And then we have our turtles from our honeymoon and everything. So this is just love looking at the section. It makes me happy. So then we get to the fun part. Recliners! So these recliners recline, they massage, they have a cool light. Let's see if it'll turn on. Ha! Cool light. And then there's also heat, which you can't tell because you're not sitting on this, but I swear to you it heats up, which is really nice because it keeps you warm. And then we have the main couch. And this actually turns into a bed. So this, um, I think this fifth wheel can store eight people, six to eight, six to eight people, including all the, cause all, a lot of the things turn into beds and it's really cool. And then we come up and we have lots of storage. Now our old fifth wheel was a 85 light and celebrity, no slides and we had very little storage. So this I'm very happy about, even if it is very tall, we have a lot of cabinet storage and it makes you feel happy because then you can live in it without trying to feel like you're trying to cram everything in one space. But these cabinets are great. And then we have our little coffee section as well as a portable ice maker. If you do not have one of these in your fifth wheel, get it. It is worth the money to have ice. Fabulous. And then this is also multifunctional. So you come down here and it has our coffee mugs. And then you open up here and we store our crock pot in here because our crock pot gets used a whole lot throughout the year. And because it's big, so this just helps keep everything organized. Oh, Tucker, are you helping? Are you helping showing us how the mugs are? I know, I love mugs too. They're my favorite thing ever. So then, you come over here and then you see a dog bed. But right by the dog bed is our fireplace. And this actually puts out, so it's an electric fireplace, puts out heat, which is really nice. And you can have different settings. You can just have the light of the fire on, which is really cool. Or you can just have heat, or we like to keep this part on all the time, right Tucker? We like to keep it on all the time. What are you doing, dog? We like to keep it on all the time because it looks pretty and it looks homey and we like it. And then you come over here. Oh, dang it. One moment, please. You come by the TV as I hide my knife that you did not see me get. And there's ah, more storage. Like I said, you saw nothing, you know nothing. This fifth wheel has a lot of storage in unique places, which is really cool. So they you know, use this as TV slash storage. So we keep our dog food in here, pet supplies. We have uh, one dog, three cats, in case you didn't know. 
go watch our previous videos. You can find out more about that. But one dog, three cats. So we have a lot of pet supplies, um, a lot of electronics in here. Bleach, which is also very important. And then you come down here. And again, more storage. Now this one has a built-in DVD player. This also can do radio. I believe it does Bluetooth as well. Yes, my husband is nodding behind the camera going, yes, it does Bluetooth. And then again, we keep our Blu-ray player. Just some things that we need to store under here. Again, lots of storage space, which I love. And then you go next to the TV and it's the kitchen, conveniently, next to the living room. So we start with our big island. Now this is the best. Um, countertop space. I had to think for a second. Countertop space, which is really nice. And then it has a double sink, which is really cool. And then as you come around to this side of the island, what do you see? More storage. So these are drawers, which are really nice that we keep things in. These, this is where we keep our cleaning supplies, soap, fun things like that. Paper products are in here, garbage cans in here. I'd open it, but it's a little smelly because it's a garbage can. And again, more cabinet space. And then over here is our stove and oven, which is really nice. In our last fifth wheel, we actually took out the RV stove and put in an apartment stove because it was smaller and it actually fit the specs. It stuck out a little bit, but I enjoyed it because I'm the one that cooks, so I, I enjoyed it. And I had four burners. So we came in here, I'm like, I'm down to three burners. Man, what am I gonna do? Cause I'm used to four, but this thing is awesome. So it has high and then you keep medium and then it will go all the way down to low. And in the other fifth wheel, it wouldn't do that. Once it got to low, the propane would just shut off. So this, you can actually control the temperature and it's really awesome. Turn that off. You have the oven which is really nice. Good size oven for being a fifth wheel oven. And again, more storage. Now, if you come over here next to the stove, we have what we made into a pantry. So you open this, and we'll open this. This is where we store our food. Um, we have spring break coming up because we work at the school district. So I'm gonna be organizing this a little bit more and I can show you that as I do it. But this is where we keep all of our pantry items, as well as down at the bottom, we keep our pots and pans. Still looking for ideas on how to organize that because they're very awkward shapes. And this is a very awkward size cabinet, but very excited. Microwave, good stuff. Then we come over here. It's one of my favorite things. 18 cubic feet refrigerator. Storage, storage, storage. I cannot stress to you how much storage is in this fifth wheel. It's insane. So you open it and we have space to actually put things. And I know 18 cubic feet may not sound like a whole lot, um, but in an RV, it's great. It holds everything we need. Same with our freezer. Always stock up on meat. That's what my mommy taught me. If you have meat in the house, you can cook anything. And that's what we do. Love it. So then we have a lot of decoration in our house to make it feel homey. When um, we decided that we were gonna be living in a fifth wheel full time, me personally, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel. So I like the decorations cause it makes it feel like you are at home. And I like that. So this, is the mid bunk. Now, fair warning, it's currently a laundry room um, with lots of stuff, but it's a real life. I'm not gonna try to clean up, make it look like our lives are perfect. It's not. We're still getting the hang of it. We have a um, Splendid washer dryer combo. So it's great, but it's not big like a normal um, washer dryer would be. But it gets the job done and I like it and actually dries our clothes without wrinkling them, which is awesome. So again, fair warning, 
I will show this to you. Do not judge. Put the light on and the drawer closed. If I talk, will it still record? Mm -hmm. So in here, Reno has set up a desk for his computer items. He does editing in here, church stuff, work stuff. We have the couch with stuff. <laughs> it's laundry, half of it's clean, half of it's dirty, I'm working on it. But then we also have the washer and dryer, which is really nice. And again, more storage space in here for Reno's knickknacks and all his gizmos and gadgets for his computer and camera that I can't tell you. He'll have to show you a whole thing about that. And as you walk over the dog, you get to the top of the mid bunk. Now on top of the mid bunk actually has another bed. And right now it's currently our Christmas shed because it has Christmas up there. But um, if you have older kids that would love to have their own space, this is actually really big. We had over six foot tall man, one of our friends come in here and test it out and he felt comfortable laying on it. So if he can do it, anybody can do it. And then there's also little cabinets up there and hookups for a TV. So again, teenagers, older kids, they can have their own space and feel like they're alone when they have teenage moods. And the way you get up there, so you have this lovely ladder. So you go up the ladder, climb on it when you're done, stays put. And again, more decorations that we have going on here to make it feel homey. We have hooks, our keys, front door, coat rack for more storage, lots of storage, I tell you. And then down here, it has a lot of control panel stuff. So this is like where the water pump is, some lights, propane, which I'm actually gonna shut off right now. Um, electrical, filling up the tank, things like that, that's all in here. Reno can explain that more. I just know it does stuff to the RV. And then in here is the bathroom. This bathroom is actually a really good size for being an RV. So let me take you in there. So you come in, you have your sink as normal, you have your toilet, you have the shower, which is really awesome. Shower door just kind of puts up against it. Really good size shower. You can get a lot in there. You can, you don't feel like you're crammed like you would in a fifth wheel. So this is really nice. Storage space. Loving it. Lots of drawers down here. There's a little countertop space. This is where I keep my makeup and more, again, more storage space. And then this door actually leads into the bedroom so you can get to the bathroom from the bedroom. But right now we have it being blocked off because our cats love to come in here and play with toilet paper and we ain't wasting none of that. So we have it blocked off. So when we do use it, we just take off the thing, come in, go, but it's a slidey door. Really convenient. Squeeze me. So this right here next to the bathroom is a control panel that does the leveling and auto level for the RV. I'm not sure what it's called. I just know it does leveling. Now we get into the bedroom. This is... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to sneeze. <laughs> You okay there, camera guy? I'm trying not to sneeze. Okay, don't sneeze. If you do, wash your hands. So we get into the bedroom, which is currently the cat's room. And we have the cats and the dogs separated right now while they get used to each other and training and stuff. So you'll see a lot of cat items in here as well as our bedroom. Tucker, go. Tucker, go down. Tucker, go. Go. So we walk in to the bedroom. First thing you see is a cat tower. Okay, first thing you see is a dresser, but then you see the cat tower. So like I said, this is the bedroom slash where the cats hang out. So we have our dresser, two long dressers, which is really nice. 
drawers. We keep the cat's water up here because when they would drink water, they would spill it all over the carpet. And the top of this is easier to wipe down than the carpet. So doing that cat's food is on the carpet. It's easier for them to eat it down there. We have an electric fireplace, which is really nice because we don't want to keep turning on the propane one because it, if you live in a fifth wheel, you know that turning on the heater in the fifth wheel uses up a lot of propane. So we have this little guy that actually gets the job done in this room. Excuse you, Tucker. So right here, we have window. It's actually an emergency exit window. It's also what the cats like to look out, but I just have it covered right now. Behind the cat's tower, which Spock is right there. Hi, Spockles. Yoda's right there, too. I don't know where Apollo went. But right here is... I can barely open it right now because we have to move the tower. But it's a closet area. And this is where we keep shoes. Um, I keep my t-shirts. We keep some linens in here. I turn off the light so you don't waste electricity. You can just shut it and close it. It's a lot easier to get to without the cat tower, but the cats love this, so we keep it for them. The bottom right here is actually the cat's litter box. I don't think you want to see that. Um, you can probably see it in the mirror. <laughs> you could see me in the mirror. <laughs> hey, there is Reno uh, filming. See, I am in this video. He is in this video. He still exists, people, I swear. Um, so again, cat's litter box is in here. And then we have two drawers down here that we each have to use. Big mirror to see people in, which I really like. I'm used to having closet mirrors. It just, you know, when you're getting ready, you just like to see yourself. It's very nice. Um, this is a closet. This is Reno's side, as you can tell. A lot of black, because he lives in black. But a very nice size closet. We store things like scarves. We have whatever clothes we put. My side's on this side. More color. But really nice size, and I really like it. Because the other one, I keep referring back to our other fifth wheel, which we should really do a video comparing and contrasting the two. But it, um, it had a little tiny closet. We took it out and built our own with Ikea furniture <laughs> and closet stuff and got very creative. So having this is really nice. So then we have our bed that is semi-made. It is a king size bed, which is really nice because our last fifth wheel was, it said it was a queen size. I didn't believe it, but we like having the space even though I still take up three quarters of the bed because I'm awesome. And then on top of the bed, we have some cabinets, little guys, but they work for little knickknack things that you wouldn't be putting anywhere else. So that is the entire fifth wheel in a nutshell. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions for us, any comments about this video, anything you'd like to know, please let us know. We will answer you. We love answering questions, so you may do that. Thank you. I don't know how to end this thing.